A collection of short stories, a few novellas, and his only published novel, The Catcher in the Rye, which sold more than 65 million copies, made him one of the most beloved writers of the 20th century. But what makes the late J.D. Salinger even more fascinating are his other works, the ones he had almost certainly written but never published. In a recent documentary about her father, Salinger's daughter described a trove of unseen stories. He very proudly showed me a set of files where a red dot meant this is ready to go upon my death. A green dot meant this needs editing. But there was apparently no plan for leaks. And that's what happened this week when three of the author's unpublished stories suddenly appeared online. The Ocean Full of Bowling Balls, Paula and Birthday Boy are now being viewed by the general public for the first time since they were written in the 1940s. Salinger donated the now leaked manuscript, The Ocean Full of Bowling Balls, to the Princeton University Library. The stories could only be read under supervision by scholars and were not to be published until 50 years after his death. That's 2060 for those of you keeping count. Several people who read those stories say the leaked material seems to be authentic. According to BuzzFeed, the leak originated with this eBay listing. The invaluable texts fetched a winning price of just 67 British pounds, or about $110. Lot 440. This is not the first auction of Salinger's work against his wishes. In 1999, Salinger's one-time lover, Joyce Maynard, auctioned off his letters to her. Please note at the request of J.D. Salinger that Mr. Salinger holds the copyright to his letters. They sold for $140,000, a small price to pay, some say, for a look into the life of this famously private man. He turned his back on celebrity before celebrity was celebrity. There were so many aspects of his life that the public didn't know. Producer Shane Salerno, who spent a decade researching his documentary, Salinger, says the author is full of surprises. I conducted over 200 interviews personally. This is just a very small portion of the research that was gathered over 10 years. There's probably 40 boxes. But what about other manuscripts Salinger worked on throughout his life? Every day I heard typing, a lot of typing. And there was one space that was off the bedroom that was a safe. I saw two thick manuscripts. I never read them, was never shown them, and knew better than to ask. There have been leaks before. In 1974, two unauthorized editions of his work appeared on bookshelves coast to coast. The reclusive author called the New York Times who printed his message, publishing is an invasion of my privacy. Problem seemingly solved. When I went back to buy the second one, not only was the book gone, both volumes were missing, the store owners declined to admit they'd ever sold it. Today's leaked material is, of course, beyond the author's reach, but according to Salerno, the next authorized release of his work could be as early as 2015, though Salinger's family is keeping it a mystery.